Now let's discuss Graham's law of effusion or diffusion. For that, let us consider two identical boxes having equal volume, let's say P. Both the boxes is provided with same hole, two holes of same size. Let the first box is filled with a molecule of molecular mass M1 and we have taken number of moles of the first gas B1. Similarly, the in the second box let it be filled with a gas of molecular mass M2. Here also let us say number of moles is equal to 1. Let the pressure on both the box be the same equal to P and let both the boxes be heated with a temperature T. That is both the, both the boxes are provided with a temperature T. Let us assume the velocity of average velocity of a gas molecule in the first box be V1 and that of the velocity of the molecule in the second box be V2 bar. Now since the temperature remains the same, temperature we provided to both the boxes remains the same, we have kinetic energy of molecules in the first box equal to kinetic energy of the molecules in the second box. Since temperature is the measure of kinetic energy, temperature remains same means kinetic energy remains the same. That is half mass of the molecule in the first box into velocity of the molecules in the first box, velocity square is equal to half m2 v2 bar square. And you know number of moles n equal to given mass divided by molecular mass. If number of mole is equal to 1, then it is 1 equal to m by m implies given mass is equal to molecular mass, which means here the given mass m1 will be molecular mass of the first gas, here the given mass of the gas will be molecular mass of the second gas. We can substitute the values in here, so you can cancel this half so that m1 v1 bar square is equal to m2 v2 bar square but we found out m1 equal to molecular mass m1 v1 bar square is equal to m2 v2 bar square implies v1 bar square by v2 bar square is equal to m2 divided by m1 and taking the root on both sides you have let us write it in here. Root of root of V1 bar square by V2 bar square equal to root of M2 by M1 implies square inside the root will come out as this square and root will get cancelled. So it will be V1 bar by V2 bar is equal to root of m2 by m1. Let us say that as equation number 1. Now, let us consider the case if, if the velocity, let us say a gas molecule is coming out of the hole like this. We have number of molecules coming out of the hole, number of molecules coming out of the hole in unit time is proportional to its velocity. That is if the velocity is higher, more number of molecules will come out of the hole. Which means, you know, number of molecules coming out in unit time is called the rate, rate R. So, R is proportional to velocity. Implies, we have rate of diffusion in the first box R1 or here you can write R is equal to some constant into V. So, R1 will be KV1 bar, let us call that as equation number 2 and R2 will be KV2 bar, let us call that as equation number 3. Therefore, if you divide the equation 2 and 1, 
R1 by R2 will be KV1 bar by KV2 bar. You can cancel this K and K. So R1 by R2 is equal to, you can write it here. Therefore, R1 by R2 is equal to, let's write it in here. R1 by R2 is equal to V1 bar by V2. But we already found that V1 bar by V2 is equal to root of M2 by M1. So this is the Graham's law of effusion or diffusion, which means rate is inversely proportional to molecular mass. If you look at here, R1 by R2 is equal to M2 by M1, which means greater the molecular mass, lesser will be the rate of diffusion. That's the Graham's law. Also, we have Let's say we have R1 by R2, we found that as M2 by M1. So what if, if you divide both the terms M2 by M1 with the volume of the box, that is M2 by B divided by M1 by B you will get let's erase this and you will get you know mass by volume is equal to density of gas is equal to mass divided by volume so this is equal to root of density of the first second gas by density of the first gas clear so rate of diffusion or effusion is inversely proportional to density also this also is Graham's law. Clear. Now, how will you find the Graham's law from the kinetic theory of gas? According to kinetic theory, the pressure exerted by a gas P equal to 1 by 3 rho V bar square, where rho is the density of the gas and V square the mean square velocity. We have density rho is equal to mass of the gas divided by volume. Also, rho is equal to mass of the gas will be number of moles into molecular mass by volume. Since here the number of moles we took as 1, we have density is equal to mass divided by volume. So, P is equal to 1 by 3 molecular mass divided by volume into V bar square. That is, if you take 3V to the left, 3 p v is equal to m v bar square or v bar square is equal to 3 p v divided by m or v bar is equal to root of 3 p v divided by m. Now let's look at the equation. 3 is a constant. P pressure we took that as constant. V also volume of the boxes remains the same. So v bar is proportional to 1 by root of m and we already found that rate of diffusion or effusion is proportional to velocity kv bar therefore rate is proportional to or inversely proportional to the molecular mass now if you take this equation again this equation again let's erase this this equation can also be written as V bar is equal to root of 3P. You can take this to the bottom of the mass. That is M divided by V. But you know mass by volume is density. So V is equal to root of 3P divided by rho. Implies V proportional to inversely proportional to root of density. Clear. Since we know R rate is proportional to K, then rho rate is proportional to velocity implies rate of diffusion is inversely proportional to density. So this is how you derive the Graham's law 
from the kinetic theory of gas.